Hey guys, Solent Thunder here with another quick guide on how I set up my trade skill master for my enchanting profession. First thing I'm going to do is open up enchanting, go to TSM groups, and create profession groups. I like to use the automatic group creation feature using TSM. So I've made my groups. If I go into trade skill master and take a look at them, it made me a professions group, enchanting group, and two subgroups under enchanting called crafts and materials. Under my crafts items is everything that I can craft with enchanting. And everything under materials are all the materials used to craft those items. Now, I don't craft every single item. Actually, I currently focus on MOP enchants only. I don't do the old content stuff. But there's lots of profit to be made in the old content stuff if you want to get into it. It's a little bit slower selling, but things like this, Enchant Two-Handed Weapon Agility. Crafting cost around 638 gold, selling price 2.2k. So there's lots of profit to be made in the older enchants, and I recommend you get into it if you only have a couple professions or you're on a lower pop server with less turnover. So first of all, I want to make some subgroups off of this because I don't sell these oils and items like that, the wands. To do that, I go to Management. Create new subgroup. I'll name it Enchants. I'm going to bring all of my Enchants into that group using the filter search for Enchant. Add those in. And then from this, I'm going to make a new subgroup off of it called MOP Enchants. You can name these whatever you want. Uh, I like basic names so that I know what they are. Now, to get all my MOP enchants into this, to make it quick, I'm going to import them quickly. And I will share this import list as well down below in the description. Check move already grouped items. Alright, so now all my MOP enchants are in this, this one group. I'm actually going to make a subgroup off of this one. Shaw enchants. You don't have to do this, but maybe if you uh, only want to craft a few of each of the Shaw enchants, but maybe more of the MOP enchants, by subgrouping them off, this will allow you to apply different operations. Um, maybe to not craft as many and whatnot. So my Shaw enchants, I gotta add those over. I'll do this quickly. Dancing Steel, J Spirit. River Song, and the Bracer Enchant, Strength, Agility, and Intellect. So those are the main Shaw Crystal Enchants. I might have forgot some, but I think I got them. So after this, we need some operations to uh, sell and craft these items. So let's start with our basic enchants. Crafting operation. We're going to name this one Enchants, times two, because craft two of each. So minimum restock quantity and maximum. This is the maximum amount you want to have. So in this case, I only want two. And this is your restock, minimum restock quantity. So if I sell one, it tells me to craft one. If I change that to two, I have to sell two before it will tell me to craft any. But I like to keep that at one. We set a minimum profit. Uh, let's go with 25 gold for this. You can use whatever works for you here. You can play around with it and change it. So now I have a basic crafting operation set up for my enchants. I'm actually going to make another one for MOP enchants. Same thing, minimum restock quantity I'll leave at 1. But in this case, I want to stock lots of these because I sell lots of them. So maybe I want 20 of each enchant. I'll set my minimum profit again to, let's say, 25 gold. Actually, there's pretty good turnover on these. Let's go 15 gold, so. I might make a little less per enchant, but more turnover, more profit in the end. And I'll leave that the same. And then one more crafting operation for my Shaw enchants. So, minimum restock quantity 1. Maybe I want 10 of each of these. They're kind of expensive to craft. And I'll set a minimum profit on these guys at 50 gold. 
So you can play around with this and change it. Now I need some auctioning operations because these are the ones to craft the items. It's going to tell me what I need for stock. Now I need some auctioning ones. So I'm going to create a new operation. Click on operation. Operation name. Let's just do enchants again. I'm going to post these. So maybe my less popular selling enchants. Maybe I'll post them for 24 or even 48 hours. And I'll post two of them since I'm going to craft two. You can change this to a higher number. Maybe you ended up crafting more or whatever. But post cap. Uh, stack size. You only want to post things like enchants and typically gems unless they're raw gems and stacks of one. Bid percent. Uh, let's go 95 percent. Undercut amount. One copper is fine for uh, older enchants. They're not getting posts spammed like maybe MLP enchants will be. I might change that for those. Minimum price. I like to use percent of crafting cost here. 110 percent of crafting ensures that I don't lose profit while crafting this item. Selling it rather. Normal price. Something like this might be good at around 500% of crafting. Again, you can play with these and find what works for you. You can also use fixed pricing in these. Uh, you can right-click these, and it gives you a list of different things on the right here that you can use. And there's also a link here with some more advanced options. So maximum price, maybe 2,000% of crafting. Now, with my old enchants, they don't cost a lot to craft, but I don't want them sitting around in my mailbox if somebody's selling them below my... or sitting around in my bank if somebody's selling them below my crafting cost. So I like to post them at my normal price if it's below my minimum. This is only for my older enchants and stuff like that. Alright, so that, that operation's all set up. Let's make a new one for MOP enchants. Match stack size again. I don't know if I did that on the other enchants, but what this does is somebody stacks, sells a stack of five. They're selling it kind of cheap to get rid of them. Instead of undercutting the stack of five where you're selling singles, you want to match the stack size and only undercut the singles. So go to post. MOP enchants is highly competitive. You're getting undercut frequently. I like to post these for 12 hours, so I'm posting them often. Uh, also, Personally, I only post them two at a time. You can do whatever works for you. Bid percent again. I like to use 95%. Now this one here, my undercut amount, I'm going to change this to two silver. The reason for that is if I leave it at one copper, and as I'm posting, and waiting for my post scan to finish, if somebody else is posting at the same time, maybe they're undercutting by one copper, and I won't be the cheapest one available in the auction house anymore. Maybe I'll match them. Or uh, even worse, maybe I'll be below them. So I like to change it to two silver, then uh, it ensures when my post scan finishes, I am hopefully the cheapest one on the auction house. Minimum price, again, 110% crafting. I like to use crafting for a lot of things. Normal price, let's go 1000% crafting. Seems high, but some of the enchants don't cost a lot to craft, and you can actually get big profits on them. And I like to use 3,000% crafting for my maximum. Now, I'm not going to post these items because uh, if they're below my minimum, I want them in my bags ready to go for when they are profitable for me because these are what I focus on. And we need one more operation for our shot and chance. I'm going to post. I post these for 12 hours as well. Post one at a time. Maybe 95% again. Undercut by two silver. Minimum price 110% crafting. Normal. These are expensive, so maybe only go 300% crafting here. You can play with again. Change, change it to whatever works for you. Maybe 500% crafting. All right. So we have crafting operations set up, auctioning operations set up. Now we need to apply them to the groups. So you go back to groups up top. I have my regular enchants with all of my enchants in it, basically.
click on operations, I'm going to override and apply my enchants operation. Crafting, same thing, enchants. Then my MOP enchants, I'll override this one and apply my MOP enchants operation. Go to my crafting, apply my MOP enchants to crafting, and then the Shaw enchants. Override that. Shy enchants, crafting, shy enchants. Now it's all set up. I have crafting operations, auctioning operations. I should now be able to queue these items up. Um, assuming I've gone to the auction house, scanned the auction house, and built a database using the auction DB tab, which I've done. Now I have nothing in my queue. I'm going to go to groups. This may or may not work because I already have items on another tune. But if I click my restock queue on these, and there it goes. Everything that it's telling me is profitable is in here for telling me to queue it up and craft it. Uh, it sorts it by the most most profitable at the top. That seems a bit high. I would uh, adjust that slightly. 9k per enchant seems like a bit high of profit, so I'd be careful when I posted those. Right down to the minimum, which I have set at like 15 gold for this, so 18 gold in this case. The ones that are red mean I need enchant uh, enchanting mats. I don't have enough for them. The blue ones means I have some of the mats, but not all of them. And then the green ones means I have enough mats to craft all of this item. So I hope that was helpful, guys. And uh, stay tuned for more guides. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And check out my stream as well. I'll throw a link in for that.